What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. This is Gustavo. Thanks for following up with me. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments, guys. It, um, it's really encouraging, you know, when you start a new venture or a new chapter in life to see support from other folks. But this has been a busy week. So my sister's getting married in October and we had to go into the wedding venue and finish out some details. I'll add a clip of that. We also had to get a new dryer for a rental unit which I finally have a tenant and they've moved in. So, I mean, it's been a busy week. So follow up with me while I'm gonna go take care of some of our properties and give you a little bit of background of, as to what I do. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and follow me. Well guys, as the work is progressing, we worked on the deck, on support beams, on the wooding. So we got a new dryer unit in the house. We got the house cleaned out. We had the old dryer taken away as well for, by the Brand Smart delivery folks. We have new tenants and they've moved in. And I think starting the, starting the lease on the first of the month, it's a great way for everybody to have a clear idea of, you know, of your lease terms. As a whole, it's better than starting on the 10th, the 15th, and it's just, it's just easier to keep track for people to know, okay, so if rent's due on the 1st, I should pay it no later than the 5th, otherwise, you know, late fee supplies, but if you start on the 10th, then, you know, then you'll have till the 15th, and then, it's just complicated. I like to keep it as simple as possible. This was just a coincidence, serendipity if you will. They started on the first, they know that if by the fifth they don't pay, late fees do apply. So all of that is great. With this tenant though, I'm actually playing the long game. Playing is not the right word, excuse me. I'm actually doing a long-term lease. What that means is I'm doing a three-year contract. My rate is set for a certain amount of dollars for the first two years and then on the third year I went down a couple of hundred dollars to help as an encouragement for them to stay a third year in the house. The reason I do this is because I don't want to overstress the house with tenants moving in and out every year and also because it encourages the tenants to take care of the house and for them to know that the security that they're in the house for more than just a year. They don't have to run out and go find somewhere else to move. They don't have to worry about unconventional things. You know, it's just the security that it brings to people to know that they're setting roots somewhere for a while. Now, another thing that, that I did this week is that I went with my mom down to the wedding venue where my sister is getting married and we were ironing out some final details. I got a clip for that as well. So this is the clip of us going to the wedding venue. 